and Marie has been waiting for days for her two-year-old son to recover from heart surgery. She's from Venezuela and says she came to Argentina to save her son's life. There was no medicine and no chance he was going to get the surgery he needed on time, so we sold everything we had and came here. My son was operated on immediately, and now we're waiting for him to get well. We did not have to pay for anything here. We are so grateful. Just like thousands of others, Anne Marie and her husband are not planning to go back to Venezuela anytime soon. In 2015, the amount of people coming from Venezuela has doubled, and that figure continued to increase because of the ongoing crisis, as Venezuelans can easily obtain residency here, and with that, free healthcare and education. Venezuela is a member of the Mercosur trade bloc, which includes countries like Uruguay, Paraguay and Brazil. That is why many Venezuelans say they pick Argentina when they decide to leave the country. Alex arrived one month ago. He was a medical student outside Caracas, and now he's hoping to continue with his studies at the University of Buenos Aires. I had to leave because in the provinces the situation is worse than in the capital. I will have to start my studies from the beginning here in Argentina, but I don't care. A career here would take six years, and in Venezuela it would take me ten because of the problems we face. But Venezuela's membership in the Mercosur trade bloc may be at risk. In the last months, Argentina, Brazil and Paraguay have suggested the possibility of suspending Caracas, accusing the government of Nicolás Maduro of violating basic human rights. The Bolivarian current in Latin America was based around Venezuela, but because of the economic and political disintegration, they are losing support. Argentina, Brazil and Paraguay are united because they don't want Venezuela to hold the Mercosa presidency, for example. But the changes may not happen anytime soon. That's why thousands continue to arrive here, escaping from the difficulties in their country and in search of a better life. Teresa Bo, Al Jazeera, Buenos Aires.